Welcome to Netlink Daily, guys. Keys is once again gone. It's like he's never here anymore. Boats, honeymoons. I'm beginning to think he doesn't like me very much. Well, today it's Keys Appreciation Day. I mean, without him, who would write these amazing scripts? Wheels? We all know how that would turn out. Buy select AMD A10 APUs at NCIX and get Sniper Elite 3, Murdered Soul Suspect, or Thief free. Let's start with deal time. In Canada, it's NCIX's savings kickoff event because football or something. You're getting free shipping on orders over $50 and under £200. This week's deal is an ASUS GTX 780 Ti DirectCU 2 for $659.99. A pretty massive savings. In the US, the deal this week is a Kingston HyperX 3K 120GB SSD for $76.99. That's a savings of $53. By the way, guys, don't worry, this show isn't just about the deals, it's also about the news! Our first story comes from Intel. Hot on the heels of their X99 launch, they've now announced their Intel Core M lineup at IFA. This, of course, is just the tip of the 14 nanometer Broadwell Iceberg. These chips are aimed at high-end tablets, two-in-one convertibles, and ultra-thin laptops, and are available in devices starting today. The focus for these chips is power efficiency, with CPUs in the 4.5 watt TDP range, down from 11.5 for Haswell Y processors. Compared to their last gen counterparts, the base clocks are lower, but they have higher turbo clock speeds. They also feature Intel's new Trigate 3D transistors and HD 5300 graphics. The thing new about those transistors, by the way, is not necessarily that they're Trigate, but that they are on a smaller 14 nanometer process node. And our, my teleprompter reader is like way ahead of me here. So blah, 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 something, something. Desktop version is coming sometime in 2015. Next up, 4K. <laughs> As old news, dog, Dell just showed off their upcoming UP2715K, which is a 5K monitor, cramming an insane 5120 by 2880 resolution into a 27 inch panel. We're talking 14.7 million pixels compared to 4K's measly 8.3. That is 70% more. Now, it's not gonna be cheap. This monitor is gonna cost $2,500, sorry, Oh, there's a correction. $24.99.99. It's totally different, of course. So you might be thinking, oh, great. Now I've got to get display port to drive this thing, and I've got to spend all my money on the monitor. And no, you would be wrong. Not only will you need a monitor, but you will also need not one, but two. DisplayPort 1.2 ports. Dell actually needed a Quadro K5000 just to power up the demo monitor running a 5K H265 video. Apparently it'll be for sale around Christmas time. So if you're thinking of something to ask Santa for, maybe this and probably a couple 295X2 graphics cards as well, which you will need. Speaking of high resolution and being outdated, the Blu-ray Disc Association just defined its latest 4K revision of their discs. It seems they're fighting to stay relevant in a time where everybody's moving to digital downloads. Supposedly, they're going for higher dynamic range, more color gamut, and 4K at 60 FPS. The capacity is not changing, but the data is being written to the discs and read from them in H.265 instead of the outgoing H.264. Now, for those of you waiting for the QR code winner announcement, Jack and Keys are going to pick the winners and announce them on a Netlink live stream. That's going to be on Monday, September 8th, 3 p.m. Pacific time, so tune in. But if you can't, then the archive will also go up right after, and Wheels will also contact the winners by email. So I guess you don't have to watch live at all, but they wanted me to say that you should watch live because I think their egos will be crushed if you don't, so you should probably watch them live. That's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Keys is gonna be back next week, and I won't. Maybe he's avoiding me, or is it that I'm avoiding him? Nobody knows. Actually, nothing, nothing, that, uh, nothing that ominous. Keys is gonna be back, because he'll be back, and I'm gonna be gone, because I'm gonna be at some kind of event in California. That's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Like the video if you liked it. And subscribe if you want to see more Netlink Daily, just like this one. Or different from this one, with a better script written by Keys, not Wheels. I mean, I make fun of Keys a lot, but truthfully, on weeks like this, I'm thankful that he's around. Don't tell him I said that. Good old Keys.